fashion blogger Joyce and of course an Italian in today's video I'm going to talk about what to wear and what not to wear here in Italy if you're new please subscribe hit the bell down below so you will not miss any of my next videos if you want you can also follow me on Instagram so you can stay updated on my daily life what happens here in Rome etc so without further ado let's get started this video has been requested by a few of my followers and you guys asked me what to wear and what not to wear here in Italy of course you can wear whatever we all know it your personal style your unique style is the most important thing of course if you clicked on this video you're interested in discovering more about Italian fashion what's on trend here what's not on trend what we usually wear what we don't so it's going to be a fun list of tips that I'm going to share with you and guys before starting with the video I want to play a game so focus a second and think about one clothing item that according to you it's a big no to wear here in Italy have you thought about it okay so now post the video write it in the comment down below and then get back to the video so at the end of the video you will see if you guess it right or not that's so fun I cannot wait to read all your comments down below and now yes let's start with the actual video tip number one is all about colors and patterns so I'm not going to talk about a specific clothing item but I'm going to share with you what's our point of view as Italians talking about patterns and colors so we like patterns but just one at a time so we don't like to mix many color patterns we don't like to mix florals with, I don't know, taran. We don't like to mix fall patterns with fall colors. So since I guess that if you clicked on this video, maybe you're interested in knowing what to wear here in Italy because you're going to move here in Italy for work or study or maybe you're going to travel here to Italy. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm really curious. But yes, my point is when you're packing your suitcase, it's important to select a color palette that is more neutral so it might be all about black, white, gray, beige, navy blue these are some must-have colors here in Italy we love to wear our neutrals we play with patterns too but not that much maybe we like to add an accent of a pattern maybe on a bag or a pair of shoes maybe just a t-shirt maybe just a little detail on the trousers but we don't go bold with super loud patterns super colorful patterns etc so this is my first tip the second tip is all about t-shirts and logos so here in Italy we don't usually wear bold uh, sports team t-shirts let's say go red Chicago Bulls or something like that I don't even know if Chicago Bulls are a team I guess so not sure but you guys got the idea so we don't usually wear it if we wear it it's just because we're going to the to the game but going around in the city doing some shopping hanging out with friends it's not something that we usually wear what we like to wear on our t-shirts are some more logos maybe more minimalistic so maybe just a little quote or something that is not that bold and that big the third tip is something that everybody knows but it's a good thing to remind you guys that flip-flops are a big no I know that lots of Americans and tourists here in Italy wear flip-flops here in Italy flip-flops are just for swimming pool or for going to the beach we don't wear it in the city it's kind of weird for us to see in them now we're used to it because we know that you guys especially from America love your flip-flops but here in Italy is something that we only wear to the swimming pool or to the beach so if you don't want to look 100% a tourist you can wear some pretty sandals or maybe some slip-ons but the important thing is that they are not flip-flops and also guys if I can give you a tip since here in Italy we have lots and when I say lots I mean lots of cobblestones it's really uncomfortable 
uncomfortable to wear flip-flops on cobblestones because you're going to get hurt really quickly to stumble, to fall, so no, it's not a good idea to wear flip-flops, wear whatever sandal or slip-ons you prefer. The part tip is all about active wear. Here in Italy, we don't usually wear the same thing that we wear to the gym outside doing errands or going out because wearing some leggings and a bra, maybe a t-shirt is something that we only wear to the gym. But it doesn't mean that we don't love active wear. We wear active wear, but we mix it with some other minimalistic and more elegant pieces. For example, here in Italy, it is a huge trend to wear white sneakers paired with, I don't know, maybe some high-waisted jeans, an oversized blazer, so we try to balance out the situation. And also here in Italy, it's not a trend to wear baseball caps. We don't usually wear them. It's really rare, maybe again, for going to the gym, or if we are going to a game or something like that. But if you like hair accessories, hats, etc., you can totally wear fedora hats, which are really cool. You can wear baker boy hats, which are a really huge trend here in Italy during this winter. And these have been my top four tips on what not to wear and what to wear here in Italy. If you want more tips like this one, if you want a second part of this video, make sure to click thumbs up to this video so I know that you guys are interested. And also guys, I'm super curious to know if you guessed it right or not. What have you written in the comment section down below? What was your first guess when you thought about something that is a big no to wear here in Italy? And again, and make sure to subscribe so you will not miss any of my next videos if you want you can also follow me on Instagram and if you're interested in Italian fashion I can recommend you to step number one download my ebook it is free it is called how to dress like an Italian it is a super smart and easy guide to read to discover more about Italian fashion more about Italian aesthetic sense etc and again you can also see my previous videos about Italian fashion so you can discover more tips about it also on my friend Abigail blog there is a super interesting article in which she interviewed me all about the differences between Italian and American fashion so if you're interested I'll leave the link to the article down below so you can read it and that's it for today see you next video bye